Worshipping and praising God is a choice. Many times we think, um, you know, I'm not in the mood. I don't feel like worshipping God. Uh, or today, you know, I don't feel like worshipping Him. I just don't feel it. But actually, when you look into the Word of God, we see that worshipping God or praising God is a choice that we need to make. Because the focus is not on ourselves. The focus is on Him. And He does not change. He is who He said He is. So therefore, we can focus on Him, focus on the truth of who He is and what He said He will do for us. And that will cause us, that will bring us to a place of making a choice to praise Him and to worship Him. The psalmist says in Psalm 34 and verse 1, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. He says, I will bless the Lord at all times. And all times meaning when things are bad, when things are good, when things are very difficult. He said, I will bless the Lord at all times. We see a similar passage in Habakkuk where the prophet writes and he says, though the fig tree does not bud, though there's no uh, fruit in the vine, there's no cattle, the herds are not there, everything has failed, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. So there is an I will involved in praising God, in worshipping God. We see several examples in the Bible where people worship God despite difficult circumstances. One such example that we see in the Bible is that of Abraham. When God asked Abraham to sacrifice his only son Isaac, Abraham did not hesitate, though it was a very difficult decision for him to make. He said immediately, I will do that, and he obeyed. We read about Paul and Silas in the New Testament. Paul and Silas, when they were on a ministry trip, and they are persecuted, they are beaten, they are thrown in prison, and we, something, and we see something very interesting happening there. They are praying to God, and they are also singing songs to Him. We read about that in Acts chapter 16. It is midnight, everybody's listening, and they are singing songs to God. So we see that the Bible is full of such examples of people who worship God despite difficult circumstances. So what happens when we worship God despite our circumstances, despite difficult circumstances? What happens is we elevate the truth of who God is. We elevate the truth of what God has said and what God said He will do above our circumstance. And when we worship God in such a way by elevating the truth of who God is above our circumstances, we will experience the power, we will experience the manifestation of the truth of who God is in that very circumstance. So if you are going through a difficult time, if you are going through a very uh, difficult circumstance, just proclaim the truth of who God is. Just declare the truth of what God has said He will do in that very circumstance and worship God with that truth. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that you are who you said you are. And you do not change with the difficulty of our circumstance. You do not change with the difficulty of how things are around us. And Lord, even as worship is a choice, we make that choice today to praise you and to worship you for who you are and what you said you will do. And we believe that, God, even as we worship you for who you are and what you said you will do, even as we elevate the truth of who you are above our circumstances, we will experience the power of that very truth that we are declaring, God, that you will manifest your glory in the very circumstances that we are in, that you will lift us up above that circumstances and give us breakthroughs in all areas of our lives. We thank you. We praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.